early life. Julia M Margaret Kenzie Gordon was born on October 31st, 1860 in Savannah, Georgia. Daisy was known for her sense of humor, compassion, and concern for others. She was interested in athletics, the arts, animals, and nature. The element that would one day become a big part of Girl Scouting. As a child and young adult, Daisy experienced several ear injuries, resulting in almost total loss, hearing loss that affected her for the rest of her life. She married William Macley Lowe in 1886, and together they set up two oh, in both England and Georgia. Julia returned often to the United States to connect with her many friends and family members and to find support during the unhappy marriage that ended shortly before her husband's death in 1905. A Birth of a Movement A meeting in 1912 with Sir Robert Barden Powell, the founder of Boy Scouts, inspired Daisy's, Daisy to establish Girl Scouts that same year. Telephoning her cousin from her home, she announced, I've got something for girls of Savannah and all of America and all of and all the world that we're and we're gonna start it tonight. From the first gathering of a small troop of eighteen girls, Daisy broke the conversation of all time. Reaching across class, culture and ethnotic boundaries to ensure all girls had a place to develop their leadership skills advocate for themselves, and turn their ambitions into a reality. Seeing her intake talent for fundraising, public relations, combining with her vast network of friends and supporters, she led Girl Scouts with passion and determination, ensuring that all, ensuring was all and and always an experience that was girl-led. Julia Gordon Lowe died January 17th, 1927, at her home in Savannah, Georgia, after a long and private struggle with breast cancer. An underwritten life legacy. After her death, Daisy's friends honored her by establishing the Juliet Lowe World Friendship Fund, which powers a nation's projects for Girl Scouts and Girl Guides across the world. Her home, often referred to simply as the birthplace, was designed and registered the National Historic Landmark in 1965, owned by and operated by the Girl Scouts of the USA. Visitors, including Girl Scout troops of all ages, can trace the arc of Julia Gordon Lowe's life and the founding of the Girl Scout movement. She, remem she remembered nearly a hundred years after passing with camps, schools, and scholarships established in her honor. Other tributes, including postage stamps, numerous biographs, and even an opera about her life and achievements. She was postponely, promisely awarded the President Medal of Freedom by President Barack Obama in 2012. But, but most importantly, the vision of Juliet Gordon Lowe comes to life in every Girl Scout and Girl Scout alum who speaks up for what they believe in, leaves the world, and leaves the world better than they found it, and blazes the trails of their very own.